If you're like many people in sales, you're looking to get the bulk of your business from your existing client base. Many people find this very difficult to do because they're uncomfortable with calling their clients and flat out asking them for introductions to people that they might know. Typical fears might include um, fear of rejection, uh, fear that they're intruding on their client's time, um, just really not wanting to bother their clients. And the unfortunate problem with this is that if it's six times harder to get new business than, than getting a referral or getting repeat business, we're working way too hard. And the truth is, is that after um, years of doing this, we have found that most of our clients, when they do ask for referrals or introductions from their clients, in most cases, they're very happy to give them. In some cases, they'll even give you their client list or the list of people to contact, and uh, they're, they're wide open to that idea. So keep in mind that, that, some of this, that some of this is a head trash thing where we're thinking way too much about how the client's going to feel. Remember, if we ask them and it's permission-based, uh, when we do ask them, we're not imposing anything on them. We're not asking too much. If you've done a good job for a client and they're happy with the services you've provided or the products you've provided, you should be able to ask them very nicely for an introduction. Something that I've done and that we've done here at Sales Results for many years is to... Um, try to set the tone for our future relationship. So as we're closing a sale or right as we close the sale and we're implementing a new client, we may mention to them, you know, Bob, one of the things that we're looking to do moving forward with you is once you're happy and you're really getting great results, we'd love to come back and ask, you know, for your help and maybe seeing if there's some or some uh, people that you know that we could help the way we've helped you. Is that something you'd be open to? And Bob says, yeah, if we're happy, of course we'd be happy to introduce you around to people we know. That, uh, that question and setting that up really sets the pace for um, coming in later, asking for some introductions, and not feeling like uh, you're, being, uh, you're taking advantage of a client relationship. Fact is, we need, to, we need to think smart and we need to work intelligently um, and pick the lowest apples off the tree. We don't want to have to climb to the top of a, of, a, of a tree to find apples. There's a bunch of them sitting right around our face level. We just have to pluck them and make sure that we, um, that we, we utilize what we have. Now, there's a number of different parts to um, getting a quality introduction from a client. Um, the first thing is setting up the meeting. Uh, my recommendation is that you set up a meeting whereby um, you take them to lunch, take them for a coffee, meet them for a cocktail, something where you can get them alone and, um, and meet with them to talk about this. Now, many people that we work with, they're already meeting with their clients anyway to continue the relationship. All we're doing here is we're going to try to set a little bit of a tone so that they understand and then they've given permission that part of our meeting is going to involve asking for a quality introduction. So let's say I'm on the phone with a client for oh, maybe two, three, four, five minutes talking about getting together for lunch and oh yeah, Friday 2 o'clock is great or Friday 12 o'clock is great. Fantastic. Okay. So, you know, we'll get together, we'll meet, uh, get, you know, see what's going on with your business. You know, Bob, one thing I'd love to ask is a favor and I hope, I hope this doesn't, this is okay with you, but I know we've done, done good work with you over the years and, and my hope is that we could help people um, that you know the way we've helped you all these years. I'm just wondering if it's possible if, if when we get together we could talk about maybe some introductions to people that you know that I might be able to help the way I've helped you all these years. Is that something you'd be okay with? Okay. Chances are the person will say, of course, no problem. But you're setting the tone for that meeting so that when you get together for that hour for lunch, that it isn't just a social hour. You're not just talking about the kids or talking about softball or whatever the topic is of the day or the news topic is of the day. You're actually investing in each other uh, to spend a little bit of time, maybe five or ten minutes, talking about possible introductions. Now, the other piece of this is once you get together and you've had your relationship time and you've really gotten into it, at some point you have to say, listen, Bob, I know on the phone I just mentioned briefly the idea about getting together to um, you know, ask, your, ask for a favor and, and having uh, some introductions made on my behalf. Who do you know that you think I could help the way I've helped you these last number of years? Notice I said, who do you know, not do you know anyone? All right. That's an important uh, differentiation because one of them is a yes, no, and the other is actually who do you know. It's looking to come up with a name. And that's really our goal is to come up with a name, someone that they can introduce us to. Um, if they can't think of a name, it's now our responsibility to step up 
and really ask some deeper questions. Well, you know, Bob, I know that you um, spend a lot of time at your private golf club. Who's in your foursome? Who are some of those people? Oh, well, that's uh, Harvey Johnson, and that's, uh, you know, Bob Jones, and that's, uh, you know, Freddie, jo Freddie uh, you know, Mercury. I guess that's, uh, you know, the name of the guy from Queen. Anyway, um, the point is, is that, um, you know, what do they do for a living? And they start talking about their businesses and the kinds of things that they do. And you say, you know, um, Bob Jones, that, that business sounds interesting to me. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your relationship with him. Oh, we're best friends for years and this, that, and the other. Tell me about his business. Okay, I hear that. And then I would step in and say, you know, I'm curious to know, is, do you think that Bob would be interested in meeting with me, talking to him about uh, some of the issues he may be having with his business that I might be able to solve the way I've solved them for you? And see what, and, and, and then get back, you know, maybe speak to him and then get back to me and let me know what he thinks. Um, that would really help me out. And I think that we could really help him. Hopefully your associate is going to, your client is going to say no problem and I'll speak with him. Maybe even set a deadline say, you know, could you then, you know, if today's uh, Friday, you know, could you call me by maybe uh, Monday or Tuesday to let me know what happened? Um, that would really be a, a big favor for me. Oh, no problem. Okay. So that's the first part. Now, the other thing I would add, add into that is to set up the quality intro, introduction properly. So uh, I would say, when you're speaking with Bob Jones about me, you know, what would you tell him about our relationship, about what we do? And, and my client would say, well, I'd, I'd just tell him, you, you know, that you're a nice guy and you've done good things for me and, and that it would make sense to me. You, at that point, you may want to coach him a little bit and say, you know, I appreciate that. Can I give you one, one thing that might, might make sense? And your client will say, sure. And you can say, would you let them know a little bit about maybe where you were prior to meeting me with your business, some of the things that you were having struggles with? Then talk to the relationship that you have with me, with my company, the kinds of things we've done to help you grow over these years, and then the kinds of results and ROI you got um, with regards to working with us. Um, and, and, and that would be a really good way to kind of lay the foundation for him to be, in a, for him to be open to meeting with me and have the best chance of him wanting to accept my call. Okay, so again, if we break it down into steps, A, it's getting a name, B, it's making sure that you understand, you know, who they are, what they do, what the relationship is, and then the third piece is coaching them up to make sure that they're going to get the quality introduction and setting you up right. Because again, they may not have any idea how to introduce you, and you can help coach them up by following those three things. Um, I consider it the bar, before, after, and results. So think of it as you're at the bar, B-A-R. Before, after, and the results. Before meeting Steve, after meeting Steve, the results have been X. Uh, that, that's a good way to, to remember that. So I think from a standpoint of getting a, a client introduction, uh, that's, that's really the key, key elements there, taking it through. One thing I will mention is that some people, as I mentioned earlier, have difficulty in asking for an introduction and they're uncomfortable with that. I'd like to give you a couple of different ways to ask for an introduction that I think might make sense. Uh, number one is calling up a client, talking to them for a couple minutes and saying, you know, Bob, I'm, uh, I'm really uncomfortable with this, but it's something that I've been you know, charged by my firm to do. And that is, I'd like to ask to see if there's some people that you know in your network um, that you think I might be able to help the way I've helped you all these number of years. Um, I'm a little uncomfortable asking, but is that something we can talk about when we get together for lunch? The idea behind this, this uh, uh, way of asking is, um, you're very uncomfortable, which may or may not be true. Uh, if it is true, I would use it. If it isn't, maybe go a different route. But um, the fact that you are uncomfortable and that you're telling them you're uncomfortable, chances are they're going to want to come to your rescue and make you feel better and say, no, no, don't even, don't even worry about asking. Of course I would help you. Uh, you've been great to me, and I want to make sure I take care of you. Okay. Another way of asking uh, that I think is effective is just flat out coming out and saying, listen, I'd love, you know, love to get together with you, talk about families and everything else. One of the things that I'd love to talk to you about as well is your network and people that you know that I, that I think, you know, that you think I can help the way I've helped you and really taking it from that level. The third way is kind of, kind of the networking uh, way to do it, and that is saying, you know, Bob, you know, normally when we get together, we talk about, you know, our lives and your business and everything else. Um, one thing I'd love to see if we could do is when we get together uh, for lunch would be to talk about your network, talk about my network, and see if there might be some way to connect each other and help each other. Um, is that something you'd be open to discussing when we get together uh, for lunch? And again, this way you're not just saying, hey, what's in it for me, or I'm looking to take you know, some referrals from you. You're saying, hey, let's see what we can do for each other. 
okay? And that way it makes it very difficult for them to say no because, again, they're looking for business, you're looking for business. You might make some good connections for each other by putting it out that way. So obtaining quality introductions from clients isn't very hard 